Hey, it's time to go to school. Are y'all ready for school? Okay, we're about to have a lesson. Okay, y'all. So y'all sit back and y'all listen and learn. Now, no, 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 no talking in the back of the class. No, no face forward. Okay, no, put that down. Put those cell phones down, all of you. You're not supposed to be on your phone during the class. All right, do I have everybody's attention? Okay, I'm Mr. Crabtree. Yeah, y'all know my wife. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about what is and is not law. Because you don't have to follow what is not law. So don't be a follower. But you do have to obey. That's right. You're subjected to the law. Why subjection? Because you agree to be in subjection to the law. That's why ignorance of the law is inexcusable. Because you agreed. What you mean, how did you agree? You accepted the benefits. You want to be a part of society. That's right. Now, I don't have no choice. That's the benefits of a contract. Yeah, when you're born into society, that's the contract. You came into the world. It was already here. You didn't have a choice. Uh -uh, it wasn't your choice. You said, I want to get out of here. And you came out of your prison into another prison. Okay, so you got to follow the rules. I didn't make up the rules. You got to follow the rules. Okay, so let's get back to class. No, 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 no. Some of you, uh, uh, abstract thinking doesn't work. It does not work. The law already took into consideration abstract thinking. So sit back and listen. Don't be arguing with me. I got the I got the ruler and I got the chalk. Sit down and shut up while I'm doing class. Okay. Sorry, we have some of those people that's in the back of the class that want to interfere with the class. We gonna conduct the class the way it's supposed to be conducted. We ain't doing it their way. They just do a lot of talking. So let me explain. Your mama and daddy had a contract with the state. They even signed the contract. Said, yeah, I'm an informant. Informer. Oh, I'm sorry. W wasn't going to go into there. You know. Shut it. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what you need to understand, because you don't understand, your mama and daddy signed a contract. And you were introduced into the world. You say, what if they didn't sign a contract? They mama and daddy signed a contract. So they grandfathered in. Yeah, see how that's taken care of? And their grandfathers and their grandmamas and their grandmothers and their grandfathers and their grandmothers and grandfathers all signed these contracts. That's right. It's a perpetual agreement. And they created these trusts and they said, trust us because we got you. And we're going to create a God way trust and an in God we trust and we're going to be trusting because we're going to make a public. They created a public. Everybody wants to call America a republic. America is not a republic. It was never a republic. The Pledge of Allegiance was written over 100 years after the country was established. So the Pledge of Allegiance is not your foundation. Stop thinking that. It is not a republic. It was converted to a republic in 1871. It's called the 1871 Act. Go look it up. February 21st, 1871. And, 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 and Thomas Clark Nelson, thank you, young man, for bringing that to everybody's attention and providing all of the proof and the case citations. That man did a wonderful job. Go to our website, type in Thomas Clark Nelson, our 14th Amendment citizen. Now, for those of you, uh, this is my class. Sit back. Don't, don't jump ahead of me. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for a long time. So long time. Y'all pay attention. For those of you who didn't understand, we're going to help you understand. What you're going to do, you see how I'm on my computer? You're going to go to your computer. This is going to be a part one, part two, part three, part four. This is going to be on TikTok. So for those of you on TikTok, this is for you. Now watch this. S-L-O-U-T-E-R. Well, we don't even have to go any further. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Nope, can't do it. Oh, I, 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 I said, oh, I'm spelling that wrong. Give me one second. Oh, and uh, and G H C N H G N H sugar. That's the one. 
<laughs> uh, wait, hold on. H O U S E. And uh, 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 Slaughterhouse Cookies. Y'all remember Slaughterhouse Cookies? Oh, that's not Slaughterhouse Cookies? Well, anyway, Slaughterhouse. F E D E R A L. Federal Sentimacy. I T I Z E N. Federal Citizen. Slaughterhouse. We want to slaughter us some houses of a federal citizen. Just type it in the Google like I just did. In the slaughterhouse cases, case is with an S after 1871. Did you notice how unique that is? The Supreme Court of the United States, not the United States Supreme Court, two different courts, but the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that the privileges, you accept them benefits and privileges and immunities, <laughs> you part of the contract. Okay, them privileges and immunities clauses of the 14th Amendment protected only, singular, only those ignorant fools who had rights as federal citizens. Federal citizens? What does a federal citizen? I've never seen anything known as a federal citizen and did not extend to the many rights granted by the individual states. That's right, state citizens and that federal citizen, it, they ain't the same thing. So let's look up federal citizen, okay? Now y'all staying with me? We got, we got only four more minutes, so y'all keep up, all right? Okay, uh, let's do, we gonna do legal? Cause you always gotta do legal definition, D-E-F-I-N-I-T-I-O-N. Always gotta do legal definition, can't just do definitions. A federal citizen is a person who is a citizen of the United States, either born or naturalized, and owes an allegiance to the country. They are entitled to all civil rights. You don't, you don't have no civil rights, y'all. That's 14th Amendment. Stop talking about your civil rights and protections provided by the government. For example, a person born in the United States is a federal citizen. Okay, ain't no such thing. Constitution doesn't say nothing about no federal citizen. No, they created the federal citizen with the social security number and all those other contracts. That's how they create a federal citizen. Constitution doesn't have a federal citizen. Constitution was the government by the people, for the people, other people. It ain't no federal government. Government ain't in charge, the people in charge. I thought y'all knew that. Okay, now that's the first thing. We have to get y'all to understand who you is. Go look up the slaughterhouse cases. They right there. Now let's do citizen. We have to find out what a citizen is because citizens, that's a unique word. A citizen is a person who by place, birth, nationality, or one of both parents or naturalization is granted full rights and responsibility. So you don't want to be a citizen because you want to have those inalienable rights that is spoken about in the declaration yeah endowed by god you know nature and nature's god do you want to be not a citizen you want to be a civilian what's a civilian well we just got to take the t out of citizen we put a v and and we take the z and the e out of there because they nobody need no z you, you need some Z's, then you need to go get some sleep, okay? And hold on. L L I A N. Civilian. Civilian. I know I, I know I spelled one too many L's, okay? Anyway, private citizen. A civilian is not a private citizen. We That's fine law. Don't let fine law. Civilians are persons who are not members of the armed forces or the police department. Ooh wee see, the meaning of civilian is a specialist in the Roman or modern civil law. Ooh, you could be a civilian. Okay, a civilian is a person who's not a member of the armed forces or a person engaged in hostilities. I ain't engaged in no hostility. They say I'm hostile, but I ain't engaged in no hostility class. Okay, that's lesson number one. We're going to be back with lesson number two, three, and four. So pay attention because we're going to talk next about tax credits and the 1099c would you like to learn we're gonna talk about that and we're gonna invite all of you all right be back in a moment 